Okay, I am back. I am ready for more E Train Odyssey. I apologize for last for uh, last night's segment being very short. Uh, it might not seem like it, but all of that took me probably about an hour to record, and then I cut it down to about 20 minutes. <clears throat> oh, there's a free skill boot here, and a blaze oil. Both of those are both of those are completely useless. But it does remind me that I need to show you all the new gear that I've unlocked. So I fought Royal Ant again. Actually, I fought her two more times. Um, the first time I refought her, she gave me another Ant's Jaw. It's a 10% drop, and she managed to give it to me two times. So I just reset the game, fought her again for the third time, and I got the Death Claw that I so coveted. And I was able to make the Executor. I don't think Executor is a real word, but um, yeah, this is what we got. A sword with 103 attack. Ignore the fact that it gives 4 attack. That's just stupid. And by defeating another one of the Kill Claws, which dropped the red blade I needed, um, you can unlock the Body Aspis, which is the best shield for this stratum. 17 defense and ice resist up. Not too shabby. So if you want to fight some Shell Tours, there you go. And killing more, um, killing more of those Swordfish to get more fish scales gives you the Scale Boot, which is really, really good. And I thought there would be a better bow for this round than the Hunter Bow, but I was mistaken. Unfortunately, it's 75 attack compared to 103 attack. But, you know, whatever. Uh, the bow we'll be getting after defeating this boss is... Hmm. You can either get a really good bow, or you can get a really, 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 really good bow. As you navigate the Blue Forest, you sense a strong imminent threat from beyond the door. Even with your experience thus far, the presence is stronger than anything you've faced. I somehow doubt that. I still think Fenrir is the most difficult boss thus far. Are you ready for anything? Have you prepared yourself to confront any creature? If you have confidence in your skills, then open the door and meet your fates. Well, let's just make sure that everybody's all set. Eh, Coastal's not topped off on TP, but she doesn't need to be. Neither does Cubix or Chas Cat, for that matter. Alright, well. Now, not immediately, but you take a few steps in, then something's gonna happen. Let's see. As you continue through the brush, you come across a vast expanse of water. Well, wait, that's not really any big surprise. The previous floor was full of water. It's as if an ocean was suddenly transported to the middle of the forest. Within the blue-tinted oasis, you see a, dis a distant shadow. You slowly approach it. It is the humanoid girl you encountered before. She raises a shrill cry, seeing you. Um, well, it was kinda here. You guys left the door open. See? The door's open. It's a friendly place. The Guardian, eh? With this, the inhuman girl gives a sharp, high-pitched whistle. The sound resonates through the forest, and a huge creature appears in response. Cotrangle, eh? Such is the girl's cry before vanishing into the forest. But you have no time for pursuits. The monster that flies through the air as easily as swimming is about to attack. Cotrangle has appeared. Yeah, this boss is just stupid easy. Um, it can hit one person for a heavy amount of damage, it can increase its resistance to fire, and it can hit the whole team for some ice damage. It's not really as big of a threat as you might think. And it has about 5,000 hit points, I think? It's weak to fire as well. But if you want to get the conditional drop, do not use fire. And the conditional drop isn't guaranteed anyway, so we're gonna try our hardest. Just same setup as always, bravery, defender, and immunize. Oh yeah, look, there's that blizzard. Oh, it can put people asleep, but that's... that's not so bad. It, I mean, it put Coastal asleep. She doesn't need to do any healing right now. She just used immunize, that's like the one thing she really needs to do for this fight. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you don't need to do anything else, Chazcat. And Apollon. There we go. Oh, there's another flood. See, look, even with that sleep, um, it only dealt that much damage. Oh, you know why? Because it was an elemental attack. Elemental damage doesn't get a damage bonus from uh, from attacking a sleeping target. 
Well, yeah, that's about all there is to this boss. Oh, yeah, it used tackle. <laughs> Even with Defender and Immunize up, it's still dealt not insignificant damage, but yeah. There's, there's not much else for me to say. Just doing this. And yeah, <laughs> freaking Apollon dealt over a thousand damage. Any day now, you could just die, that'd be great. It's 623, I haven't got all evening to be fighting this thing. Yeah, I'm confident, I don't need to refresh my buffs, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Maybe a bit overconfident, but you know what, that's alright. Yeah, 98 just shredded that thing. Hey, look at that, I got the Ice Spine. I think that's the conditional. The dread monster begins to slowly fall before your eyes. The shadow behind the collapsing horror has apparently already escaped. But where it lurked, you find a stone tablet engraved with a mysterious language. No, no I didn't. I found a, uh, I found an ice spine. If it came from the unknown shadow, it may be a useful clue. Rada Hull might know more. Alright. Ice spine. Yeah, I believe that is the conditional drop you can get out of it which unlocks something insane. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't even know what they were thinking with this thing. Alright, let's see here. Not much for me to uh, map out on this floor. Um, the remainder of this floor is used for a post-game boss, but I'll not be doing post-game, so I will not be speaking further about it. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, looks like this. Nope, no, no. Mapped it out all wrong. Now I'm never gonna pass my entrance exam. Oh wait, I already did. Well, whatever. There we go. And this is all there... Pfft, yeah, this is all there is to this part of B15F. Alright. Let's see here. Another event right here. Man, we fought three bosses in the Stratum. There was the Stratum boss, then there was the second Stratum boss, and then there was Golem. And I believe it's I believe it is actually pronounced Golem. I was pronouncing it wrong last time. Fort Stratum, the Sandy Barrens. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this. I am not looking forward to the Stratum in the slightest. I'll be showing off what I mean in a bit, but for right now, let's just go back to town. Before we go to the Rada Hall, let's go back to Shaleka's Goods and sell off that ice spine. Yeah, I think this is the item I wanted. 6,000 dens hall, that's insane. The Arc Drawer. Let's take a look at that real quick after we sell off the rest of this junk. My god. For 114,000 dental, you get a bow that has 232 attack. And it gives 8 tech for some reason. What is it with all these non-staff weapons giving tech? What? Was the alchemist initially able to use all weapons? Was this a leftover from development where all characters were able to use all weapons or something? I'm not getting it. His tech is only usable by the alchemist. <clears throat> Alright, well, anyway, let's go to the Rada Hall and report our results. Alright, complete. Nice. Yeah, not after sending a giant fish after us. Yeah, you don't say. Um, malicious. Well, maybe not malicious, but, uh, territorial. All right, eight thousand and how about uh, how about a hundred ten thousand? You know, I, I could use a hundred ten thousand and tall to make ninety eight into a one person wrecking crew. Oh well. So let's sleep. Let's save. And we've got quests to do. How could I forget about the quests? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, sorry about that. 
Oh, oh great. Uh, Alright, I'll do that one off screen. Trust me, you don't need to see me get another one of those 100 shells. I got one, I sold it off, and all it makes is a ring that gives you ailment resistance. And it's fucking expensive. 6,500 ends all. Well, let's accept this quest anyway. I'll, pff, I'll be getting another one of those off screen when I'm not recording anything. Yeah. Well, I think they're gonna be mighty disappointed. Uh, Alright, fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do this. Where is this person? Hmm. No. Oh. That sounds like a really stupid idea. Okay, well we gotta find this guy. Alright. Sure thing. Okay. Well, let's go. Uh, let's see our geomagnetic fields to the Sandy Barrens. And this floor is just terrible. But that's because you have a serious lack of map making tools in this game. I I'm gonna show you what I mean when I go beyond this door. So let's open her up. Yeah, forced movement tiles. Great. Which makes this really hard for me to map, because I'm really bad at keeping track of that stuff. You can't map... You can't really map these efficiently, either. So, yeah, that sucks. Let's see, it looks like there's another door right there. And let's just map it like that. Alright. Hmm. Nah, I don't feel it going this way. Hey, at least the music's kind of cool here. Even if the... The gimmick of this floor sucks. Next floor is not so bad, but I really don't like it anyway. Let's see here. I think I remember how to get through this floor, but it's... I'm not sure. It's been so long. Let's see here. I think I have to go like this. I do believe I have fucked up. Let's see here. That goes up, and this goes down. But we can't go down, otherwise it just forces us back up. Just go down, you get pushed right back up. It's like trying to... I'm not really sure what that's like. Oh well. Let's see here, we're at crossroads now. Where can we go? Hmm. Well, the only option looks like is to go up, because all of these just kind of loop you around. Yep. Let's see here. Goes like that. And... yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, what do we got this way? Uh, this sucks. I'm sorry if this is so boring, but it needs to be done. And... I'm gonna show you why this really, really sucks. This is, this is just the biggest dick move for the stratum. Let's see. Okay. Alright, now we've hit a dead end. We're in this corner here. There's an FOE. Let's fight it. Because we're actually more than powerful enough to handle this thing. Sickwood has appeared. They were called Medusa trees in the in the remake and in future e Nazi games. This thing is weak to physical attacks, so yeah. Let's use bravery and a multi-hit. Yeah, my team should be more than powerful enough. That Venom is gonna do only 99 damage every turn. Don't don't worry about it too much. Yeah, look at that. So much damage. Yeah, 99 damage. I mean, come on. The freaking assassin scorpions in the previous stratum were doing 113. Call yourself an FOE. Weak. It's not negligible, but it's very weak. Especially since the enemies in this in this stratum can hit for like 200 damage. So, yeah. 
Alright, I dropped a throb bot a throb vine, but it has a different drop as well called a dried peach, which I believe is used to make nectar too. But it doesn't really matter. You don't need to get that other drop from the sick wood. You can also obtain it from chopping in the stratum. So don't worry about it too much. Alright, so here's the really, really bad part about the stratum. Every time you go the wrong way and end up at a dead end, you have to go. <laughs> you have to go all the damn way around. Every time. It's... It's an adventure. It's an odyssey. <laughs> uh, oh, man. And we got Mantis. Oh, yeah, I never showed the base version of these guys. Maybe I'll do that later. But for right now, we got this guy to worry about. No, don't run away. Um, let's see here. Attack, use all slash. Attack, bravery, and multi-hit. These guys resist physical attacks, and they hit really hard. I think they can hit for about 200. Oh, 109. Whatever. Oh, okay. I guess that could happen. Go oh, Silver Eye. Go me. We're just getting all kinds of good stuff now. Make sure you heal up after every fight. The enemies here are no joke. But they're just as boring to fight as they were before, so I'll probably still be adding out every single fight. And there's... There's other stuff that we can do on this floor uh, later on that I'll happily show off, as it's kind of super cheese. Ooh, and gold deers, basically pallet swaps of the the fury horn from the first stratum. They hit hard, and there's not much else to them. So yeah, they'll die quick. This one's all slash pops off. Yeah. Look at that, 435 damage. 443. Yeah, after the second stratum, the game is kind of, um... I shouldn't say easy, but it becomes very tedious. Actually, it is kind of easy. All you're doing is spamming all slash and bravery. Maybe throwing off a first turn with an immunize every now and then. If you're feeling really adventurous, or if you really need the protection. Which, later on, yes, that will be necessary. Nope, still gotta go further. Oh look, it's Fenrir again. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. This is the exact same sprite that Fenrir used. We got a preemptive, but I'm still just gonna use all slash anyway. And these flame rats, um, basically they're a pallet swap of tree rats that can use a weak flame attack. There's not really much to these guys. Yeah. Yeah, as much as I hate Etrian and Odyssey 2, I will say one thing about it that was good. A lot of the enemies in that game are more interesting than they are in this one. And this, the enemies are just of increasing strength, and that's about it. Never any new kind of status ailments or anything. They're always just... More, they're always just more damage, and there's nothing to them. Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, we've seen just about all there is that B16F has to offer. Well, let's go through this door again. And let's go straight ahead this time. I think this is the actual way to go. Yes, yes, this definitely... This looks familiar. I think it's coming back to me now. Alright, so let's see here. Ooh, got a little bit of lag there. I don't know what that was. And that way is wrong. This way is right. Hey, it is right, too. Look at that. Okay. Alright. Got it looking like that. Let's go through here. There we go. And this, uh, this tram is also very light on secret passageways, just so you know. So don't go thinking you got a lot of shortcuts. No, you gotta take the long way most of the time. Just like with the third stratum. There's a reason I was dreading this stratum and why I even said it such. It sucks to navigate. But like I said, it has cool music, so it's got that going for it. 
Alright, let's see here. Now I actually don't remember where I'm supposed to go. It was either to the right here, or to the left. I just got my lefts and rights mixed up again. Oh well. Let's see. Hmm. Which direction? Well, that just leads to an area I've already been to. I can see that. Well, let's try going straight ahead. Why not, right? And I've also shown off, I think, every new encounter there is on B16F. The Mantis, the Gold Deers, the Flame Rats, and the Saber Maws. Yeah, there's nothing really new here, and I think I've gotten a drop from all of them as well. So that's... yeah. Oh. Now it's mad. And I've also gone the wrong way again. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm kind of contemplating how I'm how I'm gonna go about the rest of this. All right. Well, I've hit another dead end. I think I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out here. After obtaining 1,000 dental. Let's see, is this the doorway? No, I'm gonna have to fight this sick wood again. Great. Okay, that sick wood is dead, and I'm gonna heal. And I'm going to, uh, I guess. Cut ahead until I'm back at the start. I'll be back in a minute or two. Alright, so we're back. Now let's do this again. Let's see here, straight ahead. And straight ahead again. Yes. Let's go this way. After an encounter with three flame rats. These guys were a little bit better in Etrian Aussie 4, where they could appear with another enemy, and then they could hit your whole team by sacrificing themselves. They were a tiny bit more interesting in that, but otherwise we're very weak still. Alright, let's see here. Let's go down and to the right. Okay. Now I don't want to go left, because I think I've already gone that way. Yeah, that just loops back around. I don't need to go that way. If I had something to denote forced movement, then this would be so much easier. But no, that sadly was not until pff, Etrian and Aussie 3. Yeah, I think it was that one, actually. Well, let's see here. Going straight ahead puts me at a dead end, so... Hmm. Nope, can't go left either. Okay, well, let's go down here. And I guess I'll go down. Hey, we're good. Hmm. What's this? What is this hot garbage that I've landed myself into? Oh. I don't think that's very helpful. Up there is... There. Map's looking a little bit more complete. Hmm. Yeah. That just goes that way. I don't think I want to go that way. Let's see here. What does our map look like? Map's looking okay. Let's go back around. Oh look, I got a broken eye from that mantis. I actually don't know what the, uh, if it's a condition or not to get a silver eye or a broken eye, but in any event, it doesn't matter. I've gotten both now, and that's good enough for my, for my purposes. Okay, anyway. Land it up here. Alright. Hmm. I think going north will... Put me at another dead end, so I don't want that. Instead, I'm gonna go to the left. There. I've made my choice. Alright. Let's see. Left or up? Let's go up. Oh, hey, it's Talaka. Continuing through the lonely forest of flowing sands, you notice a fellow adventurer. The black clad flame hair. Good girl notices your presence and turns to you slowly. Indeed. You wonder how the quiet, wide-eyed girl with a small voice came to be here. You consider whether you should ask the shy girl or leave her to her own devices. Sure, let's ask her. You ask the, he the Hexer Talaka what has brought her to these sandy veils. In answer, the girl's gaze shifts to the flowing sands. Well, you must have been waiting for quite a while. The flame-haired girl fixes you with, with her powerful, unnerving stare. 
Hmm. Well, that's all right. She seems to be doing fine. I mean, she gave us, uh, she gave us that scroll that let me recruit PT as a Ronin. And he ended up being a freaking, pff, a swordmaster who put Yomu Kampaku to shame. The girl's hand emerges silently from her cloak, holding a small golden bell. I didn't actually read what she said. Oh, really? The timid girl hands you the bell without another word, then silently, then goes silently on her way. You tuck the bell into your pocket, then watch the girl until she disappears. Obtain the hex bell. All right, now we can recruit the final class. But unfortunately, it's not really a good one. In fact, they're just about the weakest class in the entire game. I'll be explaining. I'll be explaining uh, mo why more later, or more why, whatever. I think this is a warp tile right here. As you walk through the forest, a wall of trees blocks your progress. A man-made hollow is in the tree before you, waiting to receive something. You remember the stone tablet dropped by the mysterious shadow not long ago. Perhaps it would fit here. You resolve to fetch it from the Rada Hall storage. Yeah, let's just go and steal the thing. Why not, right? <laughs> Alright, well, let's see here. Oh, great. Let me guess, that was one way. Yep, great. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care if it was one way or not. Oh, great. This is this is wonderful. I guess just in case you don't have any warp wires, here you go. You can take the long way back. I really don't feel like doing that. Yeah, that that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's use a warp wire and get out of here because I gotta go and fetch that thing. All right, sorry about that. Had to edge something. Um, Rada Hall, right? Yeah, well, you've only had a day to do it. It's not really a long time. Yes. Yep. Okay. The other day, you mean yesterday? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's not very helpful. Well, that sucks. Can't we talk with them, though, and resolve this peacefully? Okay, I can do it. Yeah, I want you to not ask questions and just do what I say. Well, what else are we gonna do? Let's accept that. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. The humanoid race of forest folk must be eradicated to allow further exploration of the labyrinth. If it's us or them, it's going to be us. Well, let's accept it, with great reluctance. I don't have a choice. Yeah. Well. I mean, I've already infiltrated the 16th floor, I think. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Man, what a jerk. Seriously? You guys are a bunch of... Wow. What a tyrant. Alright, well, goodbye, Quinn. Alright, so let's go to Shalika's Goods and sell off our junk. See what we get. Yeah, we have a few things we can sell off. Throb vines, that get? That doesn't get us anything. Well, this other stuff. No, nothing. I didn't sell enough then. Yeah. As the thing about this game is that you have to sell off like five or ten of a particular item before you unlock something. <laughs> so you oftentimes had to grind in order to get good stuff. And that was annoying. So I'm glad e and Odyssey 2 kind of changed that, so that you needed usually at most three of a particular material. Well, I'll be back in a few minutes once I'm back at that warp spot. Alright, let's take a look here. Alright, yep. You suspect the stone tablet you fetched from the Rada Hall might fit here. Yes, let's do it. As soon as you insert the stone tablet into the tree, a dazzling light engulfs you. Ooh, we've been teleported. Nice. When you regain your sight, you see that a new path is open to you. 
All right, any secret passage around here? No. Great. Okay, well, that's annoying. All right, put warp tile right here as well. Might as well. And stairs down. And there we go. Now we got more quests unlocked, and there are new enemies on this floor, as always. Let's see here. And this floor's gimmick is either just as bad as the last ones, or it's not as bad, or it is much, much worse, depending on your on your perspective of things. As you pad through the, the withered grass, a girl appears before you. With a stern glare, she speaks to you in harsh tones. We have this nice... I'm not sure what you'd call it. Inquisitive music? Terms of the Pact, eh? Despite the girl's civil words, her expression is one of pure contempt. You ponder several methods of response to her question. Uh, well, what is this pact? Well, obviously yes, if I have no idea. Um, well, no, we can't simply leave. I don't think that's gonna fly with, uh, with the Rada. She continues in this manner. Her strange, harsh speech counts her to her innocent appearance. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, only you lost many, huh? Well, what about, uh, what about humanity? Okay. That seems really stupid, though. The girl points at you accusingly. Well, uh, I don't have a choice, again. With this, the girl flees into the forest so quickly she appears to vanish instantly. You have no way of knowing if the girl spoke truly, but your investigation must continue. Well, I mean, what reason does she have to lie? We're on their property. Or their sacred gr their sacred land, I guess. Okay, what do we got in here? Yeah, this place is... <sighs> yeah, the whole thing about this floor is that it is full of one-way passages. Absolutely a chock full of them. It sucks, and I really hate this floor. No, I don't hate it as much as the previous floor. I still hate it quite a lot. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, and that's, that's where you're going back. Just absolutely... Oh, okay. New enemy. Uh, Hex Roots, um, they can hit your whole team with Curse, I think? And that's about it. But yeah, I hate this floor because it's just full of one-way passages, and it's a pain in the ass to navigate. Since, again, you can't denote one-way passages in this game. So, yeah. And these Hex Roots will die quick. They have a couple of unique drops, but yeah, not really much to them. I think I preferred them in Etrian Odyssey 4, where I think they're... When you kill them, they use a Desperation attack to, I believe, curse the entire team. No, wait, no, I believe it was Paralysis for the whole team. Well, let's go through here. And there's one other new enemy on this floor. One that is, I guess, a tiny bit more interesting, but not a lot. Hmm, can't go back through there. Okay. Well, there's nothing on this side. Ooh, hey look, there's one over here. What do we got? Hmm, might as well check. More enemies are the same. Or, more of the same enemies. Just more Saber Maws and, um, the Flame Rats. Yeah, I know I'm complaining a lot about this game, but, again, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't like it. I really do think it's a great game, it's just... 
I guess I had a different perspective in this game when I first played it compared to now. Well, there are two ways to go, up or down. I say down. Okay, well fuck you too, game. <laughs> game said no. Hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. I can go this way. So let's go this way. Good. I escaped danger. Go me. Hmm. Anything through here? No. Uh, yeah, make sure that you check every single wall, as you never know. Oh, I'd like to add as well, the enemies down here give a ton of experience. Yeah, if you're low on levels or whatever, you'll probably level up pretty quick from this stratum. Well, anyway, let's see here. Oh, great. That leads back to that FOE. I don't want to fight an FOE. Do I look like I want to fight an FOE right now? Well, the game thinks I want to. So I will. I'll be back. Just another sick wood, as I had predicted. Well, I think I can get back through here. Yes, yes I can. Bold of the game to assume that you can just take out an FOE. I mean, you can, immediately upon entering this stratum, but it's just, like, you're encouraged to avoid them, not fight them directly. Well, anyway. Yeah. Let's just go like that. Oh, hey, look at that. Imoa. These guys are like the Moa from the second stratum. Actually, they're not, because they're now regular enemies. Well, anyway, they have an attack that'll probably hit for around 200 damage, and will have a chance of paralysis. So let's just go at it, shall we? And they're strong enough to take a beating from an all slash at full health. Or they could just miss. That's also a probability. A possibility. Wow. Okay. My commentary is failing hard here. I think I need to end this segment pretty soon. I believe their drop is a tendon. Not to be confused with the bird tendon. Or whatever. Or I could get a broken eye from that mantis. That's also a possibility. And I believe Coastal leveled up. So let's go ahead and distribute that point. More attack up. More Daka. Well, I guess it's not more Daka since she's not using a gun, but, you know, whatever. I don't even play as the fucking orcs anyway. I play as the fucking Necrons. Okay. Well, there's another one right here, so let's go through. Yeah, let's go this way. Hey, there's treasure. I do like me some treasure. Especially when it's good treasure. But this... Is trash. <laughs> well, you know what they say about one man's treasure. It's another man's trash. And I've certainly proven... I've certainly proven that true in my case. But you know what? I'm gonna use the Aramita 2 straight away on Venti. Save me the trouble of using relaxing. And the only way ahead is down. So we're gonna head down a little bit. I think I was worried earlier today about this being a shorter video, and I think this will be a normal length video. I mean, I'm almost at 50 minutes right now. I just want to get down to, uh... Well, I won't be getting down to B17F, but... Or, B18F, I mean. But I will be trying to get to that secret passage, at least. Uh, let's see here. And obviously, with that sick wood chasing you, try to end these fights quickly. I, I mean, it's not a big deal that sick wood gets into a fight with you since it's so weak anyway. But yeah, don't wanna don't wanna prolong prolong those fights any longer than you need to. Ooh, sorry about that. And we can go this way, so let's do exactly that. How are we doing here? Pretty good. And yes, there is an entire right side to this map as well, but it doesn't lead anywhere useful. At least not as far as I'm aware, but, um... Uh, I believe for a quest, you actually do need to go to the right side to fight some more sick woods. But, I'm not doing that quest right now, so we're not gonna worry about it. Alright. And I think we'll be able to afford that best bow before, we are, before we're even done with this stratum. 
because the further you get into this game, the better those gathering points are going to be for collecting money. And we've got this secret passage, so let's go through it. There we go. And there should be another one around here that basically just takes you to the next floor. Uh, let's see here. Through here? Uh, no, I actually don't want to go through that one. That one's bad. Let's see here. I believe it's this one. Yes, yes it was. Alright. And that was one way. So let's go down. There we go. And the gimmick of this level is that it is an ocean of sand. Just one giant desert. And it's also where you start encountering forest folk as enemies, but we're not going to worry about that right now because I'm just about done recording. Before I end it though, we're going to go back to town. I'm going to sell some stuff, accept some quests, and yeah. Alright, Chef's Request 2. Requiring two musks as ingredients, huh? Well, you can get those from gold deers, I believe. Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten one of those yet. Under construction. Three hard shards and five steel chips. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, no. No, I've never heard of them until now, actually. Alright. Wait, it's carpentry. Don't they need me to chop stuff, not mine? Oh, whatever. Let's see here. Chef's demand, huh? An unprecedented entree, eh? Work stoppage. Uh, yeah, I'll do this one too. Alright. Uh, that kind of makes sense because the lower parts of the tree are the older parts and thus they've had more time to mature so that kind of makes sense okay sure or do they want to harvest the sick woods themselves oh well sell off all this stuff and see what we get throb vine and one of those doesn't unlock anything How about the rest of this stuff Tiger coat, tiger cap, tiger hand, and a Kotzbalger. I think that's, uh, I think that was a sword that was actually used by the Launch Connects. Yeah, it was carried as some kind of sidearm. Wide-bladed longsword with a golden S-shaped guard. That is not a Kotzbalger at all. That is not what that weapon was. In fact, it was quite short in real life. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so the Tiger Coat, basically there if you didn't unlock the plate armor from the previous stratum. Tiger Cap, 7 defense isn't so bad, but shields are better. Tiger Hand, again, shields are better. Alright, and that should about do it for this segment. So let's sleep. And let's save. And that'll about do it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.